We're here today to confirm that John Cash has opened a formal federal investigation with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission to investigate the circumstances of his abrupt discharge on August 31st earlier this year. As you know, John Cash has been working for over 20 years as the weatherman for Channel 10. On August 29th, he appeared before a pulpit within an hour of the sermon. He was given an email by Doug Davis, the general manager of Channel 10, and two days later was fired, we believe, for comments made from the pulpit on the 29th. We believe this for three reasons. One, the timing of the email within an hour of the sermon. Number two, the comments made by Doug Davis, general manager of Channel 10, at the meeting on the 31st. And finally, most important, the actions of the station which were to discharge John Cash from his duties. One reason that we're addressing you folks today is to make sure the public understands that there was never any allegation of malfeasance or nonfeasance regarding Mr. Cash's performance in the station or on air. Under all circumstances, Mr. Cash has conducted himself professionally, has always been early for his work, and has performed diligently as evidenced by the popularity into the community. The reasons given on the 31st related to the comments of the sermon on August 29th. We look forward to the federal government conducting a thorough investigation and at least for the time being we'll leave the matter in their hands. Well the comment that was quoted back by the general manager and we don't believe that he was in the congregation, he obviously had um, some line of communication as to what was said because the general manager quoted back to Mr. Cash. Specifically, Mr. Cash made a comment that the Lord had called him to full-time ministry beginning next summer. Mr. Davis's comment was that it was, quote, very bad for business. And I will leave it to Mr. Davis to explain that uh, both to the authorities at the EEOC and to the general public why it is that they believe a man going into full-time ministry is very bad for business. Uh, the complaint filed today with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission is one specifically of religious discrimination. That would be the only reason for filing the complaint and in fact specifically that is what we've asked the EEOC to investigate.